Hello, welcome to another Bun Fail video. I'm your host, Bun Bun, and today we're playing Invasion of the Halloween Fiend. We got this game from Twaygav, so thank you, Twaygav, for gifting it. But also, thank you for being here, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. It's so spooky. Why did that scare me? Oh, fiends. There's more than one. I like how there's lots of parts of it. It looks really, really good. And then there's also lots of parts of it that's just, like, very low quality. Anyways, I am here right now. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. So I guess that doesn't look like a trick-or-treater. I should probably go see what he wants. Hello? How do I open the door? Oh, hi. Is that your belly button? Hi. Oh, I can zoom in. Hello? Bing, bada, boom. Bada, <laughs> bada, bing, bada, boom. Hey, it's me, Squeaky Clean Mikey Dean, here for all your all of your tutorial, extra tutor, territorial and janitorial needs. Are you all alone tonight? Yeah, my parents are away at the party. Oh, that's me talking. Hmm, interesting anyways. I got a call that this house needed a tutorial. Yeah. Is that right? Arrow keys, a select dialogue option. Uh, e to confirm. Hey. Awesome. So it's Halloween night, so here's some info. <laughs> Let's cover some basic buttons. E is the interact. You're talking with me already, so it looks like we got a smart one. Z to make the task text at the bottom of the screen reappear. And left mouse to throw items you're holding. Q to drop items. <laughs> R is to eat the candy you're holding. Let's give it a go. Some things like that dresser can be opened by clicking E while looking at the drawer. <laughs> Inside the top drawer should be a nice old piece of candy your grandma left. I know that because she's one of my clients, if you know what I mean. Pick it up and click R to eat it. E Talk to me when you're done. Oh, no. Is this special candy? Oh, no. R. That one was just okay. It was just okay. I ate it. E Good job doing what you're told. Now let's see if you can handle handing out some candy. You see that candy bowl right there? You can spawn unlimited candy by clicking E on it. You can then pick up the floor candy and give it to the trick-or-treaters. What? Just enough I you can only give candy to one of the kids. That's the ringleader. Oh, that's the ringleader. Okay. You know how kids are these days with their organized crimes and pyramid schemes. Damn, tell me about it. Now go ahead and try give me a piece of two pieces of candy and then talk to me when you're done. Here's one candy. One. Here, have a lolly. Two. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada beam. Well, kid, good job. You might just make it through the night after all. I gotta get it going. Lots of dummies out there. Happy Halloween. Forget about it. Forget about it. I got unlimited candies. Cool. Let's close you back up. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Yeah, let me eat this candy. Oh, this is good. Hey, we're so good. How do I open up the pizza box? Do I not eat pizza? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, there's kids. Looks like the first group of trick-or-treaters are at the door. I should give them floor candy. Aww. Oh, my God. They're so, that's so funny. Here you go. And here you go. Why can't I? I talk to the trick-or-treaters now. Why? Trick-or-treat. Oh. Good evening, kids. How's it going tonight? <laughs> Great. Guess what our costumes are. A vampire. You got it. Guess what I am? Guess what I am? You're, you're, well, you're Frankenstein's monster, but you know. Haha, -ha, you're old. You wouldn't know that. Thanks for the candy. See you later. Have a safe night. Little shits. Fucking kids, I tell you. They're really the worst. <gasps> Look at a little mouse down there. He's so cute. Can I turn the TV on? Wait, time to what? Hold on. It's time to find the knife in the drawer and carve the three pumpkins on the counter. Okay. I just don't like the walking. That's it. Time to find the knife. Are you in there? Oh. That's a lovely looking knife. Let's do the little guy first. Aw, look, it's so cute. I carved that one. Aw, sounds like some more trick-or-treaters are coming. Okay. I'm sure that I'll remember where that knife is at. Oh. There's no trick-or-treaters coming. What are you talking about? There is none. Oh, there is some. Oh, there they are. Hi, de ho there, children. A candy for the Fortnite. Okay, fine. I'll give it to Michael Myers. Okay. 
why do you sound like a 40-year-old man who's been smoking 40 million packs a day? Well, super scary outfits. You look super creepy, too. But I'm not wearing a costume. What? Why are they so scary? See you later, loser. Right, kids, I should place my pumpkins on the porch. I hope you kids develop a severe peanut allergy. You know, I was going to say something similar, but, like, that's even better, honestly. I don't want to place this pumpkin here. Maybe another spot. Okay. Put it next to the body. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure no one's going to sneak up behind me or anything. Perfect. That guy keeps scaring me back there. And last one. Cool. Something like a trick-or-treater's coming. Let me give him some m and That's not a trick-or-treater. That's not a trick-or-treater. You're not a trick-or-treater. I should talk to this trick-or-treater. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Well, you're not a kid. Blah. I'm not giving you any candy. You're an adult. Blah, blah. You're, it's blah, blah, blah. You're doing it wrong. Now get out of here. Blah. Oh, it's blah, 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 blah. Get. Blah. Cries and blah. blah. Have a nice visit from <laughs> Vamp. You don't make him cry, did you? Oh. I heard something at the back door. So I should go check it out. Or I don't. Dang it. There's no way to lock the door. Check the out back. And that's the garage, unless this is the out back. What the hell are these kids doing? They're making a summoning circle. What are you kids? What are you guys doing? Get out of here. Go get. What the fuck? Get out of here. Oh my god. Whatever that was. It sure made me hungry. I should take my pizza upstairs. You know what? You're right. Let's take our pizza upstairs. My god. This is my pizza. And I'm taking it upstairs. Can't believe those kids were doing that. I can't fit through here. I guess that's not my door. Hi, werewolf. Oh, that's actually funny. That's cute. Oh. I sense the present of greatness may be arriving soon at my door. Okay. Oh, bring the whole pizza. What greatness is arriving at my door? What greatness? I have a knife. What the hell is that? Should I be hiding? Hi, buddy. Oh, wow. It's the local legend, Tinfoil Man. Oh, my God. You look so cool. It's tinfoil. That's right, it's me, tinfoil man. Fighter of evil, preserver of food. You're so heckin' cool. And your costume is the best one I've seen all night. Ha ha ha, silly citizen. This outfit is more than, co than a costume. It protects me against enemy brain control rays. Wow, stylish and functional. Who would have a guess? That's right, now little Jimmy or Susie or whatever your name is. Have you seen any evil doers on this hollow night? Other than some rotten kids, I haven't seen anything to report, tinfoil man. Well, then if that's the case, I must go now. I haven't got any time to waste. I can feel the presence of evil getting stronger every second on this Halloween night. I'm tingling with anticipation that a great battle will happen tonight. And I am this town's only hope to survive. So cool. Good luck with your fight against evil. Tinfoil man. Away. He's not rid of running away. That's so hilarious. All right, have fun. Good luck, tinfoil man. I'm gonna go eat my pizza now. Ah! He made me throw my knife! I hope he's all right. I should probably be brave like him and watch the VHS scary movie upstairs. Or not. That was such a cheap jump scare. Man. Close my door. I'm gonna watch some porn. Did I do it? What VHS? Oh, this VHS. Freaky Friday. Freaker. Time to sit on the couch. Heck yeah, let's go. I just fell. I didn't even eat my pizza. I just fall asleep. My pizza, though. Oh, jeez. Must have fallen asleep watching the movie. Must be getting pretty late. Is this my house? No, it's a gas station. Wait, someone. Oh, there's some trick-or-treaters in my front door. Tell me how. I was watching TV. Why is there aliens? Three aliens. Okay. Why? Okay. Here you go. Well, cool costumes. It's sweet that you guys all dressed up the same. Ha <laughs> you guys having fun tonight? Oh, the silent type. Well then, uh, take me to your leader. <laughs> Bet you guys are fun at parties too. I'm going to go now. I need to turn off the lights before I go to bed. All right. Time to turn out the lights. I'm trying to turn the lights off. I don't know where all the light switches are at. Oh, there's one there. Three out of 13 lights, huh? There's one in here as well. Hello? What's with that noise? Oh, was there a little toy or something in there? That's probably what it was. It's a cute little office. Okay, I'm sure everything's fine. Okay, every light down here is off. I keep getting stuck on the stairs. It's kind of annoying. 
Okay, I can't open that door up. Ten. Yeah, who's talking to me? Why is that noise? Is it the little oh, micees? Oh, am I supposed to be collecting the mice and I haven't? Oh, oops. Freak. I don't know what you want to be in my room. I did it. Is that not my bed? Oh, well, I'm in a bed. I didn't close the door either. Someone's going to stab me in my sleep. That was that sound. I should look around and find out. Hello? Oh, my God. There's children. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hi, guys. I should talk to the gnome on top of the tombstone. Looks like that's their leader. He he he. I bet you're wondering why we're here. You see, we are the magical gnomes of Halloween. And we have seen that you have been such a good little hollow kin. So we decided to give you the opportunity to win one Halloween wish. You must answer the following five questions right to get your Halloween wish. But if you fail, it will be your doom. Do you accept the challenge? Sure. Excellent choice. I could tell you we're a smart one. First question. Which direction is the spooky land of Antarctica? South. <laughs> Interesting choice. Because it was the right choice. On to the second question. Would you rather fight a man with pumpkins for hands or, or a pumpkin with men for hands? Man with pumpkins for hands or pumpkin with men for hands? Um, I don't know. I, I honestly, you know what? I think the pumpkin with men for hands is kind of cool. Ha 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 ha. Wrong answer. Ah, oh, shit. Clearly a man with pumpkin for hands would be the easiest to beat. Because the man's hands would be so soft and unable to grasp a weapon. But now that I'm thinking about it, a pumpkin with men for hands would be really easy to fight. The men would be too small to move the pumpkin, and you could sneak up behind it and smash the pumpkin, becoming victorious. See, I only picked that one because I thought it would be really funny to see. Let's carry on to the final question. A math question. Oh, the horror. Okay, let's see here. You just got back from trick-or-treating. Inside your pillowcase, you've counted 127 candies. A spooky ghost comes along. The ghost steals 37% of your candy. An evil werewolf then creeps in through the window. So scary, right? The werewolf decides to steal a goblin's toe worth of candy. Then comes a scary vampire. He feels bad for you and gives you two pieces of candy. You wake up in the middle of the night to check your sack. How much candy is remaining? I don't... Forty-seven ninety-nine. Wait, what? Nobody has ever gotten that question right before. I mean, I just figured, I just picked a bigger number. Never in all my time. Because also, like, 30-something percent of 127 isn't, like, that much. And then they said two toes, and then we got extra candy. And so, you know, it was pretty easy. Wait, did it? I did it. Of course not! I should have known you were a fake hollow kin. It is time for your job! Wait, am I dead? Oh, where am I? Maybe that old man knows. Oh, hi. What are you doing in here? Hello? Oh. They brought you here too, huh? Those evil Halloween gnomes. <laughs> if I could only get my hands on them. How long have you been here? Oh, about since maybe last Halloween, I'd say. You've been stuck here that long? Yeah, I'm stuck in between these four walls. Have they been tormenting you this whole time? No, not really. They just kind of left me here with my thoughts. Been kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I had lots of time for self-reflection. I figured once I get out of here, I'm going to start all over. Maybe open a small snack bar on the coast. Have you been doing anything else with your time? Uh, Screaming mostly. Want to hear? No, not really. Oh. Ah. Why are you still, like, shiny? Okay, I get it. Fantastic. Who the hell has been screaming? That dude over there. Why are you screaming? See? Be gone, old man. I no longer have use for you. Wait, no, please. Now's your chance to put your skills to use. Whoa! Wretched old man. Well, at least now I have a new plaything. Well, well, well. You were trapped in my dungeon for committing an act of foul on Halloween. This time, however, I will not make the mistake of keeping my playthings around all year. He's fine, guys. Damn Void hasn't finished ripping his soul from his body yet. Well, then, if the Void isn't working too well tonight... I suppose I'll just crush you between these four walls. Please don't scream as much as the last one. But why? 
Because I'm evil. Time to die now. Happy Halloween. Oh no, the walls are closing in on me, I think. <laughs> are they though? Are they? Oh, oh they are. Oh. Well, goodbye. Can I climb out? Oh, I can't even jump. They're not really closing in on me. Oh, this one's moving now. Oh. I love big butts and I cannot lie. I will die. Cause it's not a lie. Just remember me. I'm gonna be flat as a pancake. So my lumps ain't gonna be that big. And when my lady lumps, my humps, my hump, my hump, my humps. My lovely lady lumps to the back and to the front. My humps, my humps. My lovely lady lumps. My humps, my humps. My lovely lady lumps. Oh, my dad. Oh, dang it. Wake up from my dream. Oh. Wait, was that a dream? Anyway, it sounds like somebody's at the door. Dang it. I was kind of like enjoying that, actually. You know, the torturous well being of whatever. Where's my stairs at? I'm fucking lost in this place. Okay. Oh. There's a strange person at the door. I should talk to him through the window, but keep the door closed. Uh, let me get my knife. I threw it somewhere. Shit. I think I lost my knife. Dang it. I just threw it because I got scared. All right. Hi, buddy. Uh, hello? Wait, is that my knife? I was looking for that. It's kind of late to be trick-or-treating, don't you think? Sorry, but we're out of candy, too. That's a lie. We have a whole floor of candy. He's lying to you. Man, what's this guy's problem? Can you hear me? I said we're out of candy. So I'm going to go now. Maybe try another house. They might still have some candy left. Why is he just looking at me? I should probably phone my parents about this. Okay. Don't come in. I'm calling my parents. Hello? Mom, there's a guy here and he won't leave. What do you mean there's a guy there? There's a guy standing at the front door and he won't leave. Is he a trick-or-treater? I don't know. Maybe he's really tall, though. Taller than me. Well, is the door locked? Yeah? The back door, too? Did you lock the back door? I'm not sure. I'll call you right back. Oh shit, I need to lock the door best. Okay, it's locked. All right, it's fine. Let me grab this guy. I didn't realize I couldn't collect those for some reason. All right, I gotta pull my mom back after I get this mouse. I don't know how many there are. Hello? Mom, is everything all right? I think that guy tried to break into the house just as I, lock as I was locking the back door. Are you sure? Yeah, he shook the door and everything. Okay, sweetie, everything's fine now. It's probably just somebody pulling a Halloween prank and trying to scare you. Did the guy leave? Uh, I don't see him anywhere, so I guess he left. See, honey, it was just a prank. Me and your father are just about to leave the party. We won't have a phone while we are driving, so try and get some sleep until we get there. There's nothing to be afraid of. Thanks, Mom. 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 Maybe I should hide upstairs in my room. Oh, no, the power went out. I gotta hide in my room. Oh, that got me. That motherfucker got me. Oh, he's breaking into my house. He's breaking into my house. Where can I hide at? I need to look for something useful. I need to look for something useful in the searchable drawers. Okay. Shit dicks, dude. I think I might be dead, guys. I just think I might be. Oh, hell yeah! A fucking Glock? Let's go! Let's freaking go, baby! You gonna break in my goddamn house? I'm gonna shoot you in your goddamn face American style. Where are you? The hunters become the hunted. Where are you? I'm up here. Bleh. Bleh. Whoa, stop it. Where are you? Hello? Oh, shit. Yeah, get fucked, bitch! I should take off his mask and reveal the identity of this monster. How, though? I have to throw my gun down? Ah, oh, shit. Let's make sure he's dead, dead. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to get rid of this gun. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. I should step back. Oh, is he gonna explode? Am I back enough? Can you just die? Bleh. Oh, hey, little guy. What the fuck? Stop it. Fucking alien. That's not my parents. Oh, those are my parents. Mom, Dad. I don't know what happened. There was a guy and he broke into the house. He chased after me with a knife. I didn't know what to do, so I shot him. I thought he was dead, but then I think he turned into an alien. I'm so sorry. Why aren't you saying- Oh, these are not my parents. I'm telling you guys, these are not my parents. Mom, Dad? Yeah, see, I knew it. Shit. I have to get out of here! Oh, no. Why don't I shoot him? What the fuck? What is this? Oh, shit! Dude, 
You didn't have to add the cinematics in here. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I think I need a bigger gun, guys. Shoot the aliens. Okay, come on, aliens. Come at me. It's your boy. I see you. Get out of here. Beep, blah, beep, 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 blah, beep. Those guys scared me. Get out of here. Super kill. What? Innocent bystander? He's faking it. He's faking it! I got the other guy by accident back there. Psycho kill. Wow! Wow! There's so many bullets in this gun! I'm so glad they're allergic to bullets. America! Is this gonna be a dream too, guys? I really like the gnome dream. That was kind of funny. Dead, all of you are dead. Get on, get out of here, all of you. You ain't gonna stand a goddamn chance. Don't touch me. You almost got close to me, buddy. Oh shit, there's so many coming. I'm gonna get caught, no! Shoot him. Oh, that's my arm. They're playing catch with my arm. I should talk to Ian and see if he'll get my arm back. Can I have my arm back? Puny human, you thought you could defeat us. We are going to destroy every last one of you. That's what you kind of get for being greedy and not sharing your candy. Wait, I gave him candy. What the fuck? Please don't kill me. I don't understand. We came to your planet and at first you met us with open arms. Every place showered us with gifts of gummies, chocolates, and edible squishy rocks you call candy corn. But as the night went on, your kind became more and more hostile to us, eventually yelling at us or refusing to answer the door. We even tried to disguise ourselves, but to no avail. Due to this greed, you shall all perish. Wait, this is because people stop giving you candy? Yes, tiny human, your wrinkle-free organ is correct. This is just a big misunderstanding. You guys probably went trick-or-treating all night until really late. What is trick-or-treating? You aliens came on Halloween. The one wonderful night of the year, everyone dresses up and collects candy. You silly aliens probably kept asking for candy way too late into the night and people got mad at you. That's why people stop giving you candy. Not because they hate you, but because Halloween is over. Wait, you don't hate us? Well, I don't know about now. Oh, my Gleep Glorp. This is embarrassing. Sorry about your arm. Guys, this is all big old misunderstanding. Stop the annihilation. Is there anything I could do to make this up to you? Can you re reattach my arm? Okay. I'm an alien, not a wizard. Sorry, buddy. So if we just come back on Halloween, you guys will share your candy with us. You'd have to ask the government, but maybe, yeah. Wow, you humans are so nice, innocent, and peaceful. Well, it looks like it's about time to hit the old dusty trail. Sorry for the mess. Everybody back to the ship. Ah! Captain, that human kill Gleep Warp AX5ZK. Wait, you killed Gleep Glorp AX5ZK? Gleep Glorp A was my 512 son, you monster. Please, I was I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. I was defending myself. I should probably kill you for killing my son, but I did kill your parents and everyone else, you know? And I ripped off your arm and destroyed your town and hit you with an invisible beam that makes it so you can no longer enjoy the sweet taste of candy. Oh, that's fucked up. Which has a side effect that makes it so you can no longer have kids. Oh, that's, oh, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, what? So, let's just call it even. Bye-bye, insignificant human. Thanks for the tasty Halloween treats. Can't wait to visit again in next year. Happy Halloween! What the fuck? I'm an orphan and my arm is, like, not there no more. Wow. This isn't what I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Fighting off aliens, and then, oh my god. I don't know, my favorite part is, you know, just chilling and uh, in the little, where the gnomes are at. He just, you know, squeezed me and four sweet tiny walls. Oh. Okay, well you did absolutely nothing, I want you to know that. Don't worry, citizen, I have arrived. Now where are those dastardly aliens? You're too late, Tinfoil Man. They already left. Oh, I knew it. They must have been too afraid of Tinfoil Man to fight me, so they ran away. I don't know if they even saw you. Ha, silly child. Clearly, they could feel my static charge aura and flood the battlefield. 
Didn't you get hit by lightning? I thought you died. General. Nonsense, tiny brain. That was simply me charging up. But that old man carried you away in a body bag. Oh, the wizard? He simply you. took me to his lair under the highway overpass and fed me healthy potions. Wait, what? Wait, oh my god, he was the man? Oh my god. Anyways, enough with talking about how great I am. This has been another great victory for... Tinfoil Man! Reach the real end of the game. Oh my god, he got smited. Well, that has been Invasion of the Halloween Fiends, guys. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Trey Gev, for gifting me this game. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Please be safe out there. Make good choices. with good set. Touch a boob. I am going to go eat something because the bouncy part of this game got me kind of feeling oozy. But, yeah, that this has been an adventure. Have a wonderful day, guys.